Hi friends, so I'm going to do a quick demo of uh, paper paint printing, which is one of the workshops that I'm offering at Firewall Gallery. A lot of you don't know what it is, and that's totally fine. It is um, such a fun technique to print your own pattern paper. So I'm going to do a quick demo using <laughs> all the paint sets in this tube, apparently. And this is not going to be enough paint, so I will add another color, just using primary colors for now, and red, and I have a blue with me. So this is going to be actually tricky because, you know, when you mix all the primary colors together, it tends to make mud, but we will make it work. So I have this plate underneath me. That's what we're going to use to print. And in the workshop, you will have um, all the materials that you need and with paints that are, you know, <laughs> more than half empty. And I have a brayer here, and I'm just going to uh, brayer um, out this, smooth out the colors. So this is going to be a primary color print. And you want, we will have uh, a piece of paper next to us to get rid of the colors that's on the brayer so it doesn't get too muddy. And I, well, I like to save those colors as well. And then here we have some blue, so just mixing that in. I like to uh, not keep my plate perfectly smoothed out because then there's a little bit more texture. And I'm cleaning my plate on this side. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I have these stencils that I have created. And this one I'm going to just put in on the plate. I have another one right here and I'm gonna grab another stencil. Have another stencil right here. So the point of jelly print printing is basically making pattern paper. Uh, I mean you can do a lot with it but this is one of the ways so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a first print with just like a newsprint paper and this is gonna be not super cool um, but you'll see why I'm doing this so I'm basically just pulling the color off of what is coming through the stencil and that's probably good and it's gonna be kind of loose and if it's not working as well, then I can try and put it back. So like I said, this isn't the cool part. This first print is um, just of the first step, but then I'm going to pull off my stencils, put it to the side, and I'm going to pull a second print. And this is the one that's going to have all the cool effect. So I am going to use a white piece of paper so you can see better and this is also a little bit thicker so I'm gonna put that on and put a sheet of paper that I don't care about on the top so I can get all the colors off the plate and this print is gonna be much cooler so you'll see in a minute and what I can also do is I can use my brayer and I don't care um, just on top so I can get all the colors off this plate. So this is just a scratch piece of paper and it's kind of cool and we can always use it for a uh, background and this is okay. I can tell that I didn't do a very good job um, so I'm going to go back and get more color out off of it and this is not an exact science. Uh, it is going to be messy, and the result is going to be hard to predict, but so. Well, so what happened here, I'm glad this happened, is this side of the paint is wet, and that's why it is uh, pulling a really good print. And this side, the paint is more dry, so the paint doesn't want to come off the, t the paper, and that's why it's remaining on this plate. And that is not a problem at all, because what we can do is we can put more color, and I'm just going to focus on this side of the print and pull that off, because this is dry. So I can put more color on the, my plate and uh, use my brayer 
to brayer it on and we're going to pull a third print. And this time it'll work, I think. <laughs> so another piece of paper, I'll just put that on here and let's see what happens this time. So obviously here there won't be as much paint uh, and So there you go. Um, this is really cool. And with these paper, we're then going to do collage uh, together. You can make cars with them. In the course, we're going to make uh, uh, magnets with them and uh, add words on top and make them a little positive reminder. So I hope you can join me in this class and I'll see you soon. Bye.